the saga of Indian satellites started as a vision of father of Indian space program, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. Dr. Sarabhai realized the need of satellite technology for education and development of the country. In early 1960s, he sowed the seeds of satellite technology in the country along with an enthusiastic young team of engineers and technicians. Indian Satellite Program kick-started on April 19, 1975 with the launch of India's first experimental satellite, Aryabhatta, which was placed in low Earth orbit and carried out communication with ground station in VHF band. Ever since then, ISRO has been engaged in design, development and realization of communication and meteorology, Earth observation and space science and navigation satellites to meet the nation's requirements. Rohini series of satellites, RS-1, which carried launch vehicle monitoring instruments became the first satellite of India to be launched by SLV-3 launch vehicles. Based on the lessons learned from the satellite instructional television experiment, SIGHT, ISRO launched its first dedicated communication satellite, the Ariane Passenger Payload Experiment, Apple. With the C-band transponder, Apple was the first satellite to be placed in geostationary orbit and was the first three-axis stabilized satellite built by ISRO. The INSAT and GSAT series which followed are a multi-purpose geostationary satellite system providing S-band, C-band, KU-band and K-band transponders for high-power TV broadcast and telecommunications, mobile satellite services and direct-to-home services in addition to satisfying the needs of meteorological services and search and rescue operations. Satellites like GSAT-30 provide HD television to low-cost terminals making India one of the largest markets in the world with more than 50 million DTH subscribers. High-throughput satellites like GSAT-11 with multi-beam coverage provide high data rate broadband services to users.
As a result of technological revolution, ISRO today has one of the most vibrant remote sensing programs of the world, Bhaskara-1. The first operational remote sensing satellite launched by ISRO carried a TV camera with 1 km resolution and microwave radiometers, Samir. Samir provided data on water vapor and liquid water content on a global scale and had a resolution of 150 km to 200 km. With the launch of IRS-1A, ISRO operationalized LIS, WIFS, AWIFS and BAN class of Earth Observation Imaging Sensors. IRS-1C 1D satellites are the examples of a unique three-tier imaging concept. This concept was carried forward in the resource set series of satellites, which is providing useful data for applications in agriculture, forestry, land mapping, urban planning, disaster management, etc. Dedicated stereo mission, Cartosat series significantly helped remote sensing and GIS applications by providing high resolution digital elevation model for the country. The era of very high resolution optical imaging started with the launch of Cartosat 2. ISRO is today having the capability of sub-meter resolution imagery through its Cartosat 2S and Cartosat 3S series of satellites for a large number of civilian applications. Kalpana 1 was the first dedicated meteorological satellite built on I-1K bus by ISRO. It carried VHRR payload designed to simultaneously obtain atmospheric cloud cover water vapor and temperature data. INSAT 3D was the first Indian satellite from geostationary orbit with atmospheric sounding capability providing valuable information over India and surrounding oceanic region. OceanSat-1 marked the beginning of space-based observations for oceanographic applications for ISRO. The satellite carried an 8-channel ocean color monitor OCM and a multi-frequency scanning microwave radiometer MSMR. This was followed by OceanSat-2 carrying OCM-2 and a KU band scatterometer marking ISRO's foray into space-based active remote sensing. The instrument provided vital inputs for weather forecasting, cyclone tracking and prediction. This success paved the way for a dedicated follow-up scatterometer mission in the form of SCATSAT-1. ISRO's first space-born SAR system, onboard radar imaging satellite RISAT-1, was an active antenna-based SAR system. Earth observation satellite EOS-4 was launched for providing continuity of services of RISAT-1. A compact, lightweight, dual-frequency SAR was flown on board Chandrayaan-2 in 2019 with full polarimetric capability. The data received from the remote sensing satellites is utilized for cartography, oceanography, land use and climate studies. Over these years, EO data and GIS have been interwoven. GIS usage is demanding EO data to enable faster and user-ready image delivery.
ISRO has developed an independent navigation system, the Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System, IRNSS, now called NAVIC, short for Navigation with Indian Constellation. Several new technologies like the specific antenna systems, signal processing systems and others have been developed. Development of the critical technology of atomic clocks are also in advanced stage. Currently, the constellation is being extended to 11 satellites while introducing L1 band frequency for providing open service signals. Space Recovery Experiment Satellite SRE was first step towards preparation for human flight missions. It provided experience in acquisition of basic technology of reusable launch vehicles. ISRO is also involved in the building of small satellites, which provides platform for standalone payloads for Earth imaging and science missions. ISRO has developed nano satellites, which are built on a modular bus system with a capability to carry up to 3 kg of payload and a total satellite mass of up to 17 kg. ISRO has consistently encouraged student community to participate in ISRO missions and learn space technology to produce the future space scientists and technologists. In the last five decades, ISRO has realized more than 100 satellites and about 50 satellites are providing valuable services to the country. EDUSAT, the first geostationary satellite dedicated to education. Chandrayaan-1, India's first mission to Moon. Mars Orbiter Mission, India's first interplanetary mission. ASTROSAT, India's first space observatory mission. Indigenous Navigation Constellation, high throughput satellites. Third generation Cartosat satellites are some of the complex and challenging missions realized by ISRO. At present, ISRO is working on various satellite projects like the upcoming Aditya L1 mission, Chandrayaan-3 mission, the Gaganyaan mission, Venus Orbiter mission, Nisar mission, etc. These missions will not only enhance the technological capabilities but will also make significant contribution to the scientific research and development. Over the decades, multitude of state-of-the-art technologies were successfully inducted in various satellite missions as we celebrate 75th year of our independence. The saga of ISRO satellites continues in the eyes of passionate veteran and young engineers. It is making a humongous effort for the betterment of the common man in various areas like meteorology, communication, navigation, tele-education and telemedicine, etc. Thus, ISRO is successful in translating the dreams of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai for the upliftment of the society. While India is celebrating the 75th anniversary of its independence as the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, we leave you with the exquisite images of 75 satellites which are part of those innumerable Indian satellites that made our lives comfortable.